afternoon students welcome to this presentation on using microsoft word application specifically the mail merge feature so there are many features in microsoft word but i'm going to be specifically focusing on the mail merge okay all right so this afternoon i'm gonna be doing a task the task is for us to prepare a letter to be merged with some data from a spreadsheet file now if you can remember the last presentation i did had a spreadsheet file in task a with students name information on their um, grade for five subjects etc all right so now i want those same students uh, they, um, we're planning so if you read the instructions well you'll see that the plan is for us to invite parents to a meeting for an open day activity at the school and so I went ahead and I typed up my document but I'm gonna show you how I did everything here so this is my document let me zoom out and let you have a better look at it one page so up top I have my logo my school address and everything so this school is open learn JA and I have my two pictures you can have one you know how did I get these pictures all right let me go over to a blank document to actually show you how I did how I do the things that I'm doing here so at the end of the day you want to have this document before I even get into all of that I wanted to understand what mail merge is mail merge is a feature that allows you to create one document and distribute it to several recipients just changing the data that will change for example if you are planning a wedding and you want to send out um, 500 invitations to um, 500 guests instead of typing um, the 500 invitations one at a time what you would do is to write type the common data once so whatever will be common information on the invitation you would write you type that once in microsoft word and then you look to see now what will be different probably the recipients will be different there is the persons you're sending it to and if you're going to include your address then your address will change from invitation to invitation so you go ahead and you type up so this would be like the common information so this is the common information that you're going to be sending everyone but what will change is the recipients names and um, addresses and some other little stuff depending on the context within which you're operating all right so now this is my letter i want to invite parents to an open day activity at the school and so i went ahead and i typed up my letter i have my nice little letterhead at the top and in my letterhead i have my school name let me zoom i have my school name open learn j a and my school address the website the school's email and the contact number for the school and i put in two nice little pictures because you know your logo you want to have you want to have an image all right so my image is um signifying reaching for the star so hopefully everybody who comes through my uh, my doors they will want to they want to be so motivated to reach for the stars all right so how did i get my pictures i simply went on youtube sorry not youtube i just googled them right so had a little not working so well today so that's not what i want so i go on i just go to google and i search for a picture so i just type in just gonna show you i typed in school logo pics i searched for appropriate pictures for my school and i like this one that's the one you just saw i right click on my picture select copy and then i go back to microsoft word and it, i go to my document and i right click and paste all right now my picture is very large so i have to resize the photo resize the picture so I resize my picture. Good. And 
I copy my picture, right click, copy, right click, and paste. Good. And now what I'm going to do is to move this picture. Before I move it, I need to format it. So I format my picture. So I go to Word, Word, Wrap Text, Tight, Wrap Text, Tight. This makes it much, much more flexible. It's easier for me to work with pictures that are, you know, you, you, you wrap them. So you can, if you have text and stuff to go around them, it does not become difficult. So I always encourage people, if you want to have your pictures and your text wrapped around each other easily, fix it up before you start working with it. So I, I, I adjust my picture, I edit it, resized it, and I'm up. They look like about the same height there. All right, good. Now I am going to, I want to turn this one around. Just flip it a little. So I right click on it and I go to the option up top here that says rotate. And I can say flip, just check them, flip horizontally. So now I have both pictures facing each other. So it's the same picture, but I just flip it. All right. And then I go ahead and I insert. I can pull up these pictures too in the, in the header. Header is that top bar. If you realize this is the header. Anything above here is in the header. So these will appear on every document that you work on. If the, my document that I was working on before, I didn't put them in a header. I just put them at the top in my, my, my logo section all right so you can make your logo a part of your header so now and in order for me to i'm gonna just um insert a text box insert text box bam name of school open turn ja and i'm gonna just highlight from now Go back to home because I don't like this uh, um, the amount of space I'm seeing in the address. So I'm going to remove the space of the paragraph so that the things can be a little closer to each other. So open learn JA and then I put in my address 19 Main Street. Elizabeth all right so I can pull up I can adjust it a little here so your header you don't have to make it be like everybody else's thing so I'm gonna push over my thing over here now I'm gonna say website oh. www.openlearnja.edu.jm All right, so it's a little bit too long. I can still address. Good. So I have my website. I can put up some more information. I could also, as how you see the original, I can cut it out from here. Control plus X is a shortcut to cut. Can cut it out from here i can center my document here this is more like what i have in the original um, the website is that um email can get information from us at info at open learn ja.edu.jm all right so i have my my little bit of information i can pull this a little closer i 
can pull down my text box just for uniformity I can even them up with the text box and I can now decide you know what I don't want this text box so I double click on the text box and I go to shape outline and I click no outline and so when I click on the outside this is now my header all right so this is my logo all right and I can put a little bit of um, a little tagline reaching for the stars in addition to that I want to probably fix up this bold it or use any of the styles that are here center all of it a little smaller all right so that's one thing or i can i just decide i don't want any style just want to keep it bold all right so i'll keep it bold all right and this is my this is my letterhead this is my logo all right and as i said before i could go ahead again and insert another text box with a tagline text box for this one here i adjust this text box mm -hmm. I like using text boxes I can put a little color on it um can go down and see if I see any other thing that any other option that I probably prefer let us say I want it to be more like that I choose any style I want reaching for the stars I can change the font to something a little more let me see how this one looks and center it make it a little larger or a little smaller all right i could also just keep this here all right looks better there to me reaching for the stars the g in the reaching look a little bit lost so i keep it and that is my thing reaching for the stars or as i said in terms of space i might just go up there all right good and now i'm ready to write my letter so if I, i'm gonna keep looking back at what i have all right so i have my my logo all right my school's letterhead nice little image representing us the school's name and address contact information I think i'm missing the telephone number but you can put in that all right i have my i'm gonna put in the school's information the school That's the telephone number. All right. So now I want to skip a line. If you notice now we're about so we are finished with that section there about um setting up the logo and stuff we want to write the body because remember in a mail merge you want to write the common information that's what you call the form letter so there are three things that you create in a mail merge you create a form letter you create a data source so the form letter is the common information that all recipients will get the data source is the data that will change all right so this is a, a record 
or a spreadsheet of all the data that will change from recipient to recipient and then that document now that where you merge both the form letter and the data source you call it the merged file or the merged document okay so moving on so i i have my dates i put in my dates i skip some space and put in um address so i'm gonna go over back to my thing here sorry wrong one good so i need some space because i'm gonna be inserting fields so i put in um the date so this is my date if two spaces are three and i go down to the salutation there leave out that because that data will change from person to person the things that i am going to be inserting for individuals i leave those spaces out and i go down there and i type my letter so i'm just gonna instead of wasting time typing that letter i'm just gonna insert all the things that i have and then i'll share that with you so you would type this i'm just copying to save time good so i'm gonna run through what i have copied assuming that i typed all of this so there and the parents name would be inserted somewhere here all right you are cordially invited to our annual meeting with parents for consultation open day on this occasion we expect you to join the teachers of your child and the child's name will go here to discuss any questions and or concerns the event will also allow our, our teachers to showcase their classrooms and academic accomplishments since the start of the year and another requirement for this assignment is for you to insert a table now i'm not looking to see my table or my content in your assignment i'm just doing a demonstration here. so you can think of data that you can put in a table so i have a table here you might be wondering how do i insert a table so here i have my table my table includes one two so the columns columns go down so i'm going to look at one column two three four columns and how many rows i have rows run across one two three four five so how would i insert this kind of table i'm just gonna remove the one i have here so i have four columns five rows so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna remove the one i have here and i'm going to show you how i created it so i went ahead and i went to insert table i went to the went down now to insert table and i put in the number of columns i have i think it was five columns and six i don't even remember all right when i go i can always fix it okay so i have my five columns let me just insert the one i did so see i have one two three four so i think i have a little bit too much so i'm gonna delete this column so i right click this entire column all right and i can just i highlight sorry highlight the column right click on it and select delete column and that column is gone and now to see if i have the right amount of rows one two three four five one two three four five six i need to remove one of these rows so i highlight right click and i select delete highlight right click delete cells delete entire row and click ok good and that is how i created this table at the bottom here and i put in the data so you click on the cells and you enter your data click on your cells
and you put in your data. So down here, I put in the year one and two, year three and four, year five and sixth form. And then, and I would have that. So I'm going to just delete this one here. Good. And this is a table that I would have created. Good. So I actually show you how to create, how to insert your table, um, your logo, and your letter of invitation was already typed up top. And it ask, also asks you for a deadline. So just um, going down, you, I have my deadline here. Please confirm your availability by Friday, March 27, 2020. So there's a deadline in my letter for parents to confirm availability for consultation. Um, what is what else is there? A hyperlink is also required. Your hyperlink is just a link to um, a document with or, or to a, or, or an external um, site or an external document. So it could be something internal or external. Just having your school's website, a link to your school's website is a hyperlink. All right. So that is how do I create the hyperlink? The hyperlink as a text. All right, so here I have the word website. And I delete this. So for further details, please visit our school's school website. And so I highlight all this text here that I want to create a hyperlink from. You can use anything you want to create a link to. Suppose you want to create a link to a YouTube video for them to watch something before they come to open day. No problem. You decide. Just find a website. So let us say you find a website. So I go online and you want to, you find a website. bmc.edu.jm This is the school's website. We already have one up top in the letter, but just to show you how you can go about doing that. All right, you can manually type in the website or you can copy the website. All right, this is taking a little while, but I know it will eventually open up to BMC's website. So what I do, I'm going to go back to Word and show you. All right, so for further details, please visit our school's website. And I highlight the text that I want to create the link from. I right click on it and I select the option from the drop down menu hyperlink and then it asks me do I want to create a link to an existing file or a web page or to a place in this document I'm gonna keep the web page option and down here is where you would type or paste the link so if you had copied the link let me go back over to right so BMC's website come up you could copy the link from here Control plus C, and you go back to your document that it, that has the text highlighted, and right here where it asks you for address, you right click and paste, and that is that is how you create the link. And the text change, and then the underline comes. All right. Another way is suppose you're just creating, you're making up your own website address. You don't have to do that. You can simply say, visit the link. Hyper, same option now, hyperlink. And if you know the address offhand, right here, www.bmc.edu.jm. And you click OK. And the same thing would happen. All right. So I, I just I hope you understand how to create a hyperlink. All right, so you can link this to a YouTube video. You can link it to any web page. Anything, any web resource you have access to and you have the address that you've copied or that you know offhand, feel free to link it to a text. So it's better to put the, to create a hyperlink than to copy a lengthy URL and paste it in the document which can look very untidy so just use the link text and link it to um, a web a web resource all right so we've looked at the logo we have we include our deadline we have our table we have our hyperlink and now we want to insert a watermark something that is that runs throughout the document but 
is somewhat faded so we're gonna insert a watermark and to insert the watermark i find this on my system through page layout so i go to page layout and from page layout you see the option watermark you can click on the down arrow and choose the option or you can custom customize your own custom watermark for now i'm just gonna use the one that says confidential and if you notice the confidential let me um go back to home all right all right so if you notice in my document here the confidential runs in the back because it's a watermark it's a faded text so the watermark runs throughout the document so if you create a document that you don't want persons to steal and present as if it is theirs you can use watermark for that so the watermark is there all right now remember that your document must be error free this document now serves as what you call your form letter so i've created the main document and in order to do the data to create a data source i'll go to mailings on my menu bar from mailings i'll select the option start mail merge and i'll select the option step-by-step -step mail merge wizard and you'll see the mail merge dialog box appear to the right of the document and it will take you through step by step so the first step if i go back to the steps let me take you back from step one so it's asking me um what type of document are you working on by default letter so i click next so yes i'm okay with the letter next step two select starting document how do you want to set out um set up your letter i want to use the current document that is here so i select i agree with this as the default if i wanted to use a document that i created some time ago and saved it i could go ahead and use start from existing document so i'm not using that i'm using the document that i have here right now open so i'm gonna click I'm going to accept the use the current document and I click on next select recipients now I can use an existing list of recipients like for example the spreadsheet that was created in task a but I'm not going to be using that for this afternoon I'm going to be typing a list from scratch so I click type a new list and this must correspond with the data the data in this new list must correspond with the data in the spreadsheet all right so that's the data from task a in the assignment that's this data all right so i go back to the word document and i click create so i the options look at the options carefully under select recipient type a new list create and now i when i when it opens up the new address list dialog box i click on the option customize columns and here i can add delete or rename columns i want to keep the title like mr mrs doctor etc um first name for student last name for student for company i don't want company so i delete company i click on the ones i don't want delete yes are you sure you want to delete the field good yes i want to delete that um i wanted uh, i want to i can keep address line one and address line two delete everything else delete city delete so i'm just deleting all the things that i do not want good and i now need to add so i'm gonna add a field called um parent name all right you can have first name parent first name parent last name all right so now i have my title i have my student first name student last name address um address lines okay i click okay and now this is my my template to create my data 
um, data source. So the title, so I look back on my Excel file. The title, I have a, I have Kayon. Last name, Kayon. Last name, Smith. And her parent name, Andrea Smith. all right and they live in i will i don't think you i don't know if you guys any if, if there are persons who included address in their in um, the personal data that they created for the spreadsheet then they can use this otherwise you're gonna have to create this from scratch now i had i inserted some addresses i have k and lives in luana you can make this up if you didn't have it in your spreadsheet then you just um use this as a new field all right so address so this is Luana St. Elizabeth right and the title for her parent is Mrs all right so I have Mrs and then I want a new entry so for all my persons I go ahead and I add them so I uh, when you're finished you should have your 20 parents the 20 students and the 20 parents slash guardian all right so i go back to excel i have mark daly and his parent is regina thompson so mark daly and the parent regina Thompson and for the address Newtown St. Elizabeth all right and Mark's person is a doctor as a title new entry and you'll do this for the 20 persons I'm just gonna add one more for demonstration and that's alia keeble with her dad or her grandfather ernest johnson lives at point alia keeble ernest johnson and the address is point saint elizabeth And this is Mr. Keeble, Mr. Sorry, Johnson. All right, I am now finished. I click OK. All right, it's asking me now to save the date, save this data source. I can put mail merge to our data source. And this is still K Brown. underscore mail merge to I'm gonna save this on my desktop save so I have my mail merge one mail merge two so remember now you know you have to save the documents mail merge one is my main document mail merge two is my data source all right so this is my mail merge recipient so this is the list of recipients that will be used in your merge use the options below to add to or change your list use the check boxes to add or remove recipients from the merge when you are when your list is ready click ok so I look to see I the source is where the file name that I saved them in and these are the fields I'm working with so I have my first record for Kayan Smith her she lives in Lona with um, her mother all right and then the second one so i look through and everything is okay and i click okay so i'm okay with that now write your letter i've done that already the option use an exist use the existing list use an existing list is what i'm gonna be working with all right um use an existing list currently your recipients are selected from k brown mail merge too so it's showing you where the data is and so I click the next option 
Next, write your letter. If you have not already done so, write your letter now. To add recipient's information to your letter, click a location in the document and then click one of the items below. All right. So now I want to insert the different fields. So here I'm going to put in the different um, fields. I click on the location here and I click insert merge field. The option I want here is first. No, it's not the first name I need here. So I remove that. Sorry, that's the student name. I need the parents name here. And the parent address all right and if you realize they are all in one line so I have to know enter click enter to ensure that they go in the right place so I have the name there so now I want to put in the title um, I just realized an error that I made but I'm gonna ask you to fix that in your document that you're creating recommendation do not use one field for for the parents name use parent first name another field for parent last name because we realize now i'm gonna put in a, a title dear mr or dear uh, mrs we normally put the title and then the last name but because i have everything in one is going to be uh, become a challenge so even though i'm demonstrating here i expect that you will fix that so you'll have one line for the um, parent first name and another field for parent last name so here i'm gonna insert the field now for the for the for the title so dear space and i'm gonna put the parent should be parent last name because i have both names in one as just parent name so dear mister and the whole name will come out comma and then the letter is there let me see what else is there that i need to insert so we expect you to join the teachers of your child so we want to put the child's name here so insert the first name of the child followed by space then the last name of the child good and i fix it up pull up the comma because we don't want to have unnecessary space good so now all the places i'm gonna run through before i do anything so i'm on my third document the first document was the one without the fields that was the common document that's called the form letter the second document i created was the address list in the data source and the third document now is where i insert the fields from the data source in the form letter and this document is what you call the merge document so here i expect to see the dates then i have the parent name the address the um salutation dear mr mrs doctor parent um, name you're cordially invited to our annual meeting with parents for consultation um open day on this occasion we expect you to join the teachers of your child and the child's name will go here whatever the name is alia richards to discuss any questions and or concerns. The event will also allow our teachers to showcase their classrooms and academic accomplishments since the start of the year. Below is a table outlining the scheduled dates for consultation. For further details, please visit our, our school's website. Okay. And, and the website link is there. Please confirm your availability by the date is there sincerely yours and this would be something that i would put on my digital um signature on all right so moving on so that is it for the so that's showing me the first the first document there all right so i just deleted because i don't want it to be running on two pages all right so this is my my mer merge document so i am merging the fields and the form letter all right the next step preview your letters so it is telling me now gonna look at each of the documents so the first person is andrea smith so the date is there andrea smith lives in luana dear mrs andrea smith so you see why i tell you you need to put them separate so this would be out of it so dear mrs smith 
Now you're looking. You are cordially invited to our annual meeting with parents for consultation open day. On this occasion, we expect you to join the teachers of your child, Kayan Smith. So you see where the name comes in now instead of a field code um, to discuss any questions and or concerns and you know the rest of the letter all right so this is my first recipient i'm okay with it i can check because remember this is just previewing you know so this is recipient one and you would have your 20 i only have three move to the next recipient regina thompson um dear dr regina thompson and it goes on your child mark daily and you know the rest of the letter i'm previewing to ensure that all the entries are okay third recipient Ernest Johnson. Dear Mr. Johnson, you should have been, if I had only the last name, I would not have in, inserted the first name. But dear Mr. Johnson, um, blah, 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 your child, Alia Keeble, to discuss any questions. I know the rest of the letter. We don't have any more in it, so that's it. All right? And so we click on next, complete the merge. So all these documents now are going to be merged edit individual letters all okay and all my three letters will come in so this is the first one andrea smith for the, the first name you won't have to do that because you'd have and i'm um, broken them into two names first name and last name i am i'm editing so you look through and see if there's anything that I see I'm the, the period missing there, Dr. Thompson. So you just fix up. You're just fixing up now. Thought I had fixed this, but I don't know what happened. All right. Now I'm done. I click File, Save As, K okay, Brown, underscore, mail merge three and my mail merge is finished all right so i have to locate them because that's another thing if you don't locate them you're in trouble all right so this is one then mail merge two is a data source with the 20 records for you so these are the the fields and you realize that by default it becomes a database file and then the um so three so we have completed our mail merge activity and we have our three documents so mail merge normally results in three documents I mean, the mail merge process will will generate three documents you have the main documents i'm looking for my um word one or mail merge one good and this is my main document all right this is the one that i created with the common data you might get this or it might show data for with for one one of your records you can just remove that record from it and just keep it as is all right, one of the record meaning one of the students' information. So you might have a dear a Mr. or dear doctor, whoever. You can just remove the data that will um, will change and just leave it as the form letter with just the main information that will remain common for all. All right, so that's the main document. And then two is your database with the data source. All right, and that has the table. So all the different um, pieces of data that you plan to insert in the main document, they will be in your database table here. And the final thing is the merge document now where you have, so in your case, you would have 20, 20 recipients, you'll end up with 20 documents. I had three recipients, so I should only have three letters in my final document. And you will realize that I didn't type this, um, three letters um, separately. I typed one letter, that's my first document, 
I created a data source, I merged the two of them, and they generated the merged document. If you look down here, you'll see pages one of three. You'll have pages one of 20, and as you scroll through, you'll see the number of pages that you have. All right, and that's it. Thank you. I hope that you learned something. Looking forward to marking some exceptional pieces.